We're rolling. Hello, can, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Hello. Got I mate. Hello, Gumnet. Hello, Poppy. <laughs> Fuck that. All right, how's it going, guys? Uh, welcome to another Q and A edition uh, with Seth and Derek. Sex and Derek. Well, that, sex, that's gonna uh, be your new nickname. Uh, sex. It's a sex. 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 Legally. I stuttered in one of my videos on my other channel, and I called him Sex Alexander. It has a nice ring to it, though. It does. It's kind of nice. Good. All right, another edition of Man Talk TV, where we talk all things man related. Because they're all just so manly men here. Come on, Derek. Give me the question. <laughs> okay, so first question is, um, no fap is amazing. I, um, oh yeah, when you guys post questions, can you like just kind of do like a spell check? Def just, just a little bit, please. I, I definitely notice a lot of positives, but how the hell do you guys stay on, on it for so long? Uh, the longest I've been was 40 days, and I felt absolutely amazing and thought, there's no way I will ever fap again. And then I break, and then break hard. I really want to stay on NoFap, and I mean for good. Sick of the dopamine feeling, um, so I guess you mean this dopamine low feeling in your brain. I just broke a streak the other day, and trying desperately to get on NoFap. Any tips? Any tips, Seth? Mm -hmm. ah. Sex. Yes. Lots of sex. So, or sex. to address the uh, question, how, how do we do it for so long? <clears throat> so you're going to hear this so many times, it's not even funny. The how you do it so long, you know, after a while, no fat or masturbation, excuse me, just becomes an unimportant part of your life. Before we started recording, Derek and I were talking, we were just saying, yeah, you know what, I don't even think about it anymore. And it's true. What happens is, in, at the thing that takes place in the brain is that the further and further away from the said habit that you get physically, the weaker the neural associations in the brain become. Which means, so that if you abstain for like, I don't know, maybe it's drinking alcohol. If you abstain for like a year, the pleasure associated with drinking alcohol, the feeling, the emotional intensity of drinking alcohol would naturally die on its own without you having to do anything. So that's the, the first answer is that it just got, it dies on its own. That's how it it, mm -hmm. it just is. And so, in addition to that, when you start doing other things with your life, we are going to say this time and time again. When you start developing all the other areas of your life that need to be developed, that adds to the unimportance of masturbation and porn. You see, now my life, I don't have time, nor do I make the time to sit down in front of a computer, whip it out, and start going for it. It's just that's really? not. I don't know. It's okay. right, okay. it's not. Well, a I don't part know. Of my I don't character. know. I'm just asking. I'm just wondering. <laughs> no, no, you're right. It, it's, it's it's not a part of who I am anymore. Yeah. It it used to be second thought, like second nature, just to like whip it out, and go because that's who I was. Mm -hmm. But I am not that person anymore, and that's one of my last videos when I was talking about who you are now. This guy who's addicted to pornography is not who you are destined to become in the future. That's all contingent upon what you are doing in the midterm. You can't keep. Go into your desk every day after work and is surfing the internet. You can't keep, as Derek said um, earlier in our discussion, playing video games. You can't keep doing the same stuff you've been doing because that is a pattern. That is all your lifestyle right now is a pattern. And the only way to change a pattern is to disrupt it. And the only way to disrupt it is to do other things. Mm -hmm. So when you start developing other areas of your life, going to the gym, uh, to, to work out, eating a better diet, doing everything else, the importance that no fat has in your life just goes away. That's just how it is. Derek, any insight on that? Can you back me up here? Is that, is that the essence of the question right there? That is the essence. That is the essence of the question. Of the question. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. I definitely want to add on to that. So I think, um, like, I remember, so, like, if I think back four or five years, um, when I was like really, really, really addicted to pornography and masturbation, I played video games all the time. I sat on Facebook all the time. Um, I basically sat on my computer a lot. And I still sit on my computer a lot, but the difference is I'm running like three YouTube channels. I'm, you know, working on websites and stuff. I'm talking to people. Like, I don't just sit around and just um, do very, 
things that are just kind of like distracting me from from life, right? I have, I work a full time job as well, um, so I have all these things going. I, I don't even watch TV anymore. Like, mm-hmm. haven't watched TV for the longest time. Um, so right. I'm not really kind of like participating in these habits that are really just kind of like distracting me. And no fat for a lot of guys is just a kind of it's it's a way to distract yourself. So if you're kind of feeling bored or whatever, you're like, I'll just go watch TV. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling bored. Well, I'll just go jerk off, right? Um, and that tends to be like I remember that was very habitual for me. So it would just be like, you just I'm just feeling kind of bored. I'll just like I'll just I'll just rub one out. No harm done. Just rubbing one out. But I think over time, that's obviously where it really becomes a bit of an issue. And another part of the question here is, I just broke the streak the other day and trying desperately to get back on NoFap. Any tips? You know, you really got to, you just really got to want to do it. Like, you really want to, like, read testimonials. Like, see how much pleasure you can really actually get from it. You've already gone 40 days. Like, you've already had really long streaks. And then you know what happens when you basically kind of break that streak and you go back to fapping. And so you don't feel very good. So it's like when you're about to, when you're about to do it, you got to be like, all right, is this going to be really worth the, uh, the discomfort and the pain that's associated with this habit here? And, you know, just kind of like catching yourself before you get hard. And another thing to add is if, I mean, I don't want to say that relapsing is inevitable, but there is a likely chance that you will do so. And if so, just don't look at porn. That is it. Like, porn is more the problem. I mean, I'm not saying that there aren't negative effects to masturbating without porn, but just if you're going to relapse, just don't use pornography. Yeah. That will help you because, it, like, masturbating by yourself to your imagination just gets boring. If you just do that forever, it yeah. just gets boring. So that's why we seek something like pornography. So if you're going to relapse, dude, or dudes, just relapse without pornography. Be on your day. Like, just be on your way. Don't sit on the relapse. Don't, oh, my God, I got to go type this question because, you know, I relapse it. You don't, all that negative emotion should not be there because it's just going to make you feel worse about yourself, which is going to then lead to further relapse. So if it's, I'm not saying it's going to happen to everyone, but it might happen if that's, if you're trying to go a, a no fat life for the rest of your life, count on it maybe happening once or twice, but just let it go. Just yeah. let it go. Don't use porn. Let it go. Just keep moving. Just I'm like, I'm going to fucking, or, like, I'm going to orgasm. Like, from this day to the end of my life, like, there's going to be <laughs> orgasms in there. Like, it's, <laughs> it's not, it's not like I'm going to be like a fucking monk and just be like, this is the essence of the question. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to, like, it's going to happen. Like, when I'm with a girl, like, I'm going to orgasm. Will I jerk off at maybe once in a blue moon? It might just happen. Will I have a wet dream every once in a while? It might just happen. And I, but I'm not going to like just just beat the fuck out of myself and just be like, Derek, you're such a failure, like blah, 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 blah. Like that doesn't help. It's like, all right, yeah, okay, I did it. So be it. Let's move on. Kind of thing. Do it moving, man. Do all it right. moving. All right, next, uh, next question here. So Seth is going to answer this one because he loves this one. Um, hey guys, I got some questions I would like to ask you. Um, question number one, does masturbation interfere with your school? Uh, like for example, failing tests, um, like you have no interest in your brain focusing. Um, question number two, can masturbation affect your speech or stuttering? Question number three, can masturbation make you be claustrophobic, anxiety, panic attacks? Question number four, can masturbation affect and stop you from living independently? independently and traveling as well what do you think Seth look man whoever you are it's all you no fat if I can be very candid here my mom's not watching this hopefully no fat ain't gonna do shit for you I mean it is but it's not and what I mean is by stopping masturbation to pornography and becoming a fat free individual by itself, there are going to be some pros. There are going to be some things that change for the positive, change for the better in your life. 100%. I cannot emphasize that enough. Yeah. But ask yourself this question. Hey, Derek, if I stop, you know, watching masturbate or watching masturbation, if I stop masturbating to porn, am I going to grow bigger muscles? Well, no, Seth, you're not. You would have to go to the gym in order to build bigger muscles. 
Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, how about, um, like, if I stop no fat, am I gonna, like, start traveling the world? No, you travel the world by going and buying a plane ticket. Oh, okay, so it's my actions yeah. that lead to all these better things. So that when I'm failing in school, no fat is not gonna give me better grades, is what you're saying. It's studying that's gonna give me better grades. Right. It's... Okay, okay, and but, so... But the difference is here that if you are practicing NoFap, um, you can be much more disciplined with doing your schoolwork. That's the gotcha. difference. So you can so, still, like, NoFap can benefit that, but you still have to, like, study. Like, if you want to do well in school, you have to study. Um, and some of the other ones here, so claustroph if you're claustrophobic, anxiety, panic attacks, I mean, that's just... Like what we talk in other videos is, you know, being conscious of your mind. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's, it's you. Like you have to focus on developing yourself if you want to improve those areas of your life. And I'm going to talk really quickly because you said uh, speech and stuttering. And dude, like wherever you are, I used to have uh, somewhat of a stutter and used to be caught up in my own mind. I mean, Derek has seen me in the past kind of just get stuck in like my own head and get like, oh, you know, with my thoughts and <laughs> yeah. I can't communicate. That's yeah. all because of me. And so I have been doing things in the past to develop myself to become a communicator that I am now. I'm not saying that I'm 100% all the time because there are times where I don't put enough work in and so I'll start getting all flustered. But essentially, whatever part of your life that you want to change is going to be contingent upon how much work you put into yourself, how much time and effort you invest into yourself. It's not easy. It, it's not easy to change our lives. And I listen to a lot of motivational speecher, uh, speechers, speakers who talk about getting things done. And it just it's hard to think. It is hard to take conscious control of your mind and focus on this stutter and learn how to change it. And also, you might think that just because you stutter now that you're going to stutter for the rest of your life. And so that's a belief that just kind of keeps you where you are. But you have to be able to think better for yourself, start choosing better for yourself mentally. It's all in your head. And no matter what's taking place, the changes that you're going to gain from NoFap comes down to how much work you're putting in. Don't just, oh, great, okay, cool, I'm not masturbating anymore and sit back and relax and think that all your problems are going to be solved. I, I don't want to say I'm upset with you, but I kind of just get a little bit... Like, oh, guys, get it together. This is not just the one end-all, be-all. This is like the start of the change of your life. It's not the rest of your life, okay? Exactly. So put in the work. Uh, so if you, uh, if you guys watch my, uh, the latest video that I put up, uh, the solo video that I put up um, saying no fap isn't working, um, basically talks about how no fap is just a tool in your life. It's a tool amongst other tools that you have in your tool belt. So like I practice different things in my life, and I've never really thought like, NoFap is just like one extra thing that I do. It's not like the only thing that I do. So I love listening to audiobooks. I love reading books. I love meditating. I love visualizing. I love practicing minimalism. I love eating a plant-based diet. I love, you know, practicing self-love. I like practice all these different things. And it's basically the combination of these things in my life that are really kind of developing me as a person that I am. And it's not, and NoFap gives me more of the discipline um, that's, that's, so I went, I just went recently 54 days and then had a bit of a slip up and what I noticed like after that, I'm like, I just don't have the motivation to do the things that I was doing before. <laughs> like, I just didn't really, I was just like, eh, like, yeah, I, I can do it. But now that I'm back on it, I'm just like, I'm just much more diligent with doing that type of work. Definitely. Yeah. I got nothing to add to that, dude. You said cool. it. Another Another edition of Man Talk TV Q and A. <laughs> God, Man yeah, talk. we're just smashing it out. Um, oh. So, if you want to ask any anonymous questions, uh, definitely follow us on Tumblr, and you can leave an anonymous question there. And you can also, if you go to Man Talk TV, I'll set up a contact page on there um, so that you can email us a question as well, um, because we love to hear from you guys and hear what's going on in your life, and uh, just let us know, and uh, we'll definitely shoot you a response. That we will. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, we shall talk to you soon. Awesome. Cheers. Peace.